When I started making videos, one of the first topics I tackled when it comes to math was dealing with means or averages. But I haven't really discussed how to take weighted means and how to compute for that, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. Like I said in the video before, I already talked about yung simple mean natin, which is yung average lang ng mga, um, ng mga scores or ng numbers. And if you haven't seen the video lesson on that yet, you can click right here to catch up. Now, weighted mean yung ngayon, ano ibig sabihin nun, paano kung hindi even yung uh, weight or yung value ng percentage ng bawat topic or bawat section ng isang exam or anything that you need to compute. How do you solve for that? Now, in order for me to explain better, I'm going to switch over to my PC. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so ito yung discussion natin on weighted mean and uh, this is something that you guys requested so I figured ituturo ko siya sa inyo. It usually appears sa mga exams, especially for taking yung licensure exam for teachers or yung mga common na uh, exams na kailangan nyo mag-deal with data tables or statistics or averages. Okay? Now, before we jump into yung weighted mean itself, we need to discuss yung simple mean or what we call the arithmetic mean. Ito yung simpleng average. So, given a data set like this, so, ito yung grading period niya. Meron siyang first, second, third, and fourth grading. And then, yung scores ni Mean. Oh, sila dyan ako lang. Medyo wordplay, no? Kung nagets nyo, tawa na lang. Um, Mean scores are 86 siya for yung first grading. And then, yung second grading niya ay 78. Third grading niya ay 82. And then, yung fourth grading niya ay 84. Now, kung simple mean ang pinag-uusapan, ibig sabihin, lahat ng scores na yan have an equal weight or equal sila ng importansya. So, dire-diretso ko lang siyang isosolve. Ang steps dyan, step 1 would be you just need to add all the items in the set. So, ibig sabihin nun, i-add ia ko lang lahat itong mga to pababa. So, I have 86, 78, 82, and 84. Pagsasama-samayin ko sila. And uh, I'm just going to do it using yung chunking method that I use. Basically, I complete yung mga chunks ng tens. If you haven't seen the video yet, i-link ko na lang din sa taas for you guys. Pero ang nakalagay dito would be, ang gagawin ko, yung 78 at 82, yan ang pagsasamahin ko. Kasi yung 8 and 2 is an automatic 10. So, this will turn into 80 in my mind. And this will also be 80. And then, itong 86 at 84, pwede ko rin siyang pagsamahin. Ito magiging 90, ito magiging 80. So, tinanggal ko lang yung 4, nilipat ko sa 6. Kung hindi nyo siya masyadong naintindihan, panoorin nyo mo na yung video ko on chunking so you can catch up. Kasi sa akin, mas madali i-add ito, lalo na kung hindi kayo makakagamit ng calculator sa inyong exam, mas madali yan i-add kaysa yung i-add ko isa-isa yan. Okay, so it, this is something that I can also do mentally. So, 8, 16, 24, 240. 240 na lang plus 90, so now I have 330. Again, without using a calculator, that would be really fast versus yung i-add ko individually, 6 plus 8 plus 2 plus 4, tas i-carry ko pa, tas ibababa ko siya ulit. That's just how I do things. If that helps you, I hope it, do it does, lalo na kung uh, may time pressure yung mga exams. Very handy ang technique na yan. So now that I have the sum, which is 330, Ang kailangan ko nang gagawin na next is yung step 2, which is, I will have to divide the sum. Ang sum ko again is 330. Tapos, i-divide ko ngayon siya dun sa number of items. Now, in-outline ko or in-reline ko yung number na word. Kasi ang number of items is kung ilan yung piraso. Hindi yung sum, kasi yung sum is the, alam mo yun, i-add mo sila lahat. Number of items. Ibig sabihin, you have number 1, yung first grading, 2, 3, 4. So, dahil apat na grading yan, i-divide ko siya ngayon sa 4. Okay? So, again, it's the number of items. Kung 10 po yung kailangan mo i-average, that will be 10. Kung 5 siya, that would be 5. So, at this time, it's 4. So, i-divide ko lang siya. This will give me 8. So, 80, uh, 8 times 4 is 32. Now, I have 1 here, 10 ito. This is just long division, ha? So, this will be 2. Now, I have 8. My remainder time na 2. Magkaka-decimal ngayon. I can put 0 here. 20 na siya. divided by 4 is 5. And then, that ends 
the entire thing. So, ang average niya is 82.5. Yan ang straight niya na average. Okay? Now, ano ang difference ng simple mean or arithmetic mean dun sa weighted average? Tingnan natin yung kabilang scenario. Pag uh, may question about weighted mean, hindi enough na ibigay sa inyo yung data. Kung mapapansin niyo, this time, meron nang nakalagay na weight. Okay? So, ibig sabihin ng weight bigat. Ibig sabihin, hindi pantay-pantay ang importansya ng first quarter hanggang fourth quarter. Paano ko ito ngayon isosolve? Now, sabi dito, yung first quarter, 20% siya. Second quarter, 20%. Third quarter, 20%. And yung fourth quarter, siya ang pinakamabigat ang weight, which is 40%. In most schools, may mga ganyang klase talaga na mga, uh, na mga standards, no, usually. Minsan nga, yung grade mo sa kabilang quarter nag-carry over dun sa next. Minsan yung grade mo sa uh, grade 5, kinocombine siya sa grade mo sa grade 6 para malaman ko sino yung class valedictorian. All of these things, merong mga ganyang class in comp uh, computation. Yun yung ginagamitan ng weighted mean. So, ano ang difference niya dun sa kanina? Kanina, in lang natin lahat ito and i-divide mo lang siya sa 4. Pero kung weighted mean ang hinahanap, very important yung kanya-kanya niyang percentage. Kasi ang first step mo would be to multiply the item by its weight. So basically, you're going to have to add another column. multiply mo yung score dun sa weight niya. Lahat yan, kailangan mo siya i-multiply. Which is what we're going to do. Now, dito na rin come into play yung technique natin on percentages. If you don't have a calculator, at kung hindi pwede maggumamit ng calculator sa inyong exam, if for example, you're taking a college entrance exam, or you're taking yung civil service exam, na hindi ka pwede gumamit ng calculator, this will come in, in handy. Yung meron akong technique sa percentages. If you haven't seen the video yet, ililink ko na lang din sa taas para you can catch up, no? Basically, yung ginagawa ko dito, dahil times 20% siya, it's just going to be yung times 10. Ang times 10 ay 8.6. Okay? So, 8.6 and then multiply ko yun sa 2. So, 8.6 das dalawa nito. Okay? Ang ginagawa ko dyan so I can do it mentally is I start with the whole number first. So, I, I have 16. Tapos, iradagdag ko yung 0.6 which is 1.2 and then I will come up with 17.2. 17.2 yung una. Okay? Next, we have 78 times 20% uli. So, again, 10% niya ay mumove mo lang decimal place doon. So, you have 7.8 times 2. Again, same thing. Times 2 ko muna yung 7. That will be 14. Tapos, idadagdag ko yung 0.8 times 2. 1.6 yun. So, this will be 15.8. I'm going to do the same thing here. 82 times 20%. Again, ano yan? 8.2. Ito, kahit hindi ko na isulat kasi medyo na-explain ko naman na kanina. 8 times 2 is 16 plus... Uh, dalawang point two that is point four so sixteen point four and then yung eighty four eto times uh, forty percent or times point four if you're using a calculator this will just be eight point four apat nun so eight sixteen twenty four thirty two thirty two plus apat na point four that would be one point six so the this will be thirty three point six now, if you have a calculator, ang gagawin mo is to multiply etong mga to with yung decimal version ng percentage. So, 86 times 0 0.2, 0, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, and then 0 0.4. Imumultiply mo lang siya. Okay? Yun yung gagawin mo kung mag-calculator ka. But again, you can use my method if hindi ba pwedeng gumamit ng calculator kasi instead of doing this, all of these ng mano-mano, baka mas mabilis lang yun sa inyo, no? Now, now that you have all of these, yung mga uh, products na yan, ang step 2 would be to add every product. So, ano ibig sabihin ng add every product? All of these, pagsasama-samahin ko ngayon, pababa. Okay? Yan ang kailangan ko i-add. Now, again, still using chunking, pagsasamahin ko lang to. So, yung 15.6, pwede ko na siya gawing 16. Ito, 16 na lang uli. And then, this, yung 17 tsaka 33, pwede ko rin siyang i-chunk. Kasi ang 17 tsaka 33 will form 50. Tapos, yung 0.6 tsaka 0.2 maging 0.8. So, just so, mas madali ko siya i-mental math. Again, operating doon sa premise na bawal gumamit ng calculator. And now, dalawang 6 is 32. I-add ko na siya sa 50.8. That would give me 82.8. At yun na ngayon ang magiging sagot. Yun yung weighted mean. So again, iba siya dun sa kanina. Kasi yung kanina, straight mean natin. Ang straight mean natin is 82.5. Pero ang weighted mean niya is 82.8.
And when it comes to grades or mga key na mga information, very important yung point three na difference na yan. All right, now that you know what to do pagdating sa mga weighted mean, it's time for your quick quiz. I'm going to give you a data table, and then you're going to have to get yung weighted mean ng scores or ng information na nandun. Okay? Your timer starts now. All right, let's see how you did, okay? Now, ito yung table natin. So, again, we have yung uh, parang scores rin ito sa isang ng isang estudyante. Meron kang activity, yung quizzes, yung homework, and yung exam. Kanya-kanya sila ng weight or kanya-kanya sila ng importansya doon sa total na magiging weighted average ng estudyante na ito. Okay? Now, again, when solving this, it will, pay, it will do you good to add another column doon sa mga ito kasi kailangan mo i-multiply yung weight by the score. Now, pinagpalit ko lang ng pwesto ngayon just to illustrate that you have to remember na yung uh, weight or yung percentage is i-multiply mo individually sa bawat score along the same row. Okay? So, that will be 10% of 95, 25% of 80, 25% of 92, and 40% of 86. Ia-add ko lang sila lahat. Okay? Now, it also pays to know na all of these, kung i-add ko siya, will be equivalent to 100%. Bubuoyin niya yung kabuoan ng average. Okay? So, i-multiply ko lang sila. Again, using my technique no, ng speed math, uh, I, yun ang gagamitin ko. Pero again, you can multiply this. Kung gusto nyo na kumamit na calculator, this will be 0.1, this will be 0.25, alam nyo na yan, i-multiply ko lang siya isa-isa, and then this will be 0.4. Kaya lang, again, sa akin kasi, yung thing na yan, magdali yan kung meron kang calculator, pero kung wala, paano kung wala. So again, i-multiply ko lang sila lahat. So you have 
10% times 95. Again, kung 10%, i-move ko lang yung decimal place na isang beses. This will be 9.5. And then, 25% of 80. Actually, dito sa 25%, pwede mong uh, i-add yung 10%, 10%, and 5%. Or, i-divide mo lang siya sa 4. Since ito, madali naman, divisible naman siya sa 4. Pwede ko na siya i-divide sa 4. Lalabas dito is 20. 92. Okay, i-divide ko rin sa 4. Again, pwede naman siyang i-divide sa 4 so madali ko siyang ma-handle like that. This will be 23. Now, if you cannot divide by 4, what you could do would be to divide it by 2. So, 92 divided by 2. Uh, unang divided by 2 muna. This will give me 46. And then, i-divide ko siya uli sa 2 to give me yung 25%. This is going to give me 23. Same thing. Now, kung i-multiply ko lang din siya, as in straight na 92 times 0. 25, yun din naman ang lalabas, okay? It's just something that I do, lalo na kung hindi ka makagamit na calculator, that would do you good, okay? Now, dito tayo sa 40% na exam niya. Okay, so again, 40%, can you can do it na uh, multiply mo lang sa 0.4 or yung 8.6, which is yung 10%, yung multiply ko lang siya sa 4. So, apat na 8, that would be 32 8, 16, 24, 32, and then apat na 0. 0.6. So, 6, 12, 18, 24, that would be 2.4. So, i-add ko lang yan, 34.4. Okay? Now, now that I have that, all I have to do is to add everything. So, ang decimal ko ay 0. 0.9, and then i-add ko lang yung mga numbers. So, we have 9 there and 3. Okay? So, that would be 12, and then 4, 16. So, 1... 1, and then you have, ano lang to, ikikari mo lang, so 3, 5, 8, so 86.9. So the answer is 86.9. Alright, so I hope you got that right. Now, ang gusto ko lang i-note din nyo dito is, kapag ganitong klase ang tanong, ang pinakasandata ninyo is attention to detail. Ibig sabihin, attention to detail, you have to make sure na hindi mo nawawaglit yung mga decimal place, hindi ka nakakamali ng type, which is what people struggle with when using a calculator, lalo na like, like me, medyo malalaki yung daliri ko. So, when I push yung mga buttons sa calculator, pag maliit yung calculator, minsan nagkakamali, namamali tayo ng type. So, make sure na dinodouble check yung information pag in-enter nyo sa calculator and uh, you should be good. Okay? Now, if you didn't get that right, or if you want more exercises, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Laika Maravilla. I post quick questions through the Instagram story feature para makapag-participate kayo doon and para makita ko rin kung nag improve na kayo. So, uh, you can follow me there, watch out for my stories, and answer, participate para makatulungan nyo akong matulungan kayo. Alright? Alright, hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends. Lalo ko mag-exam din sila para mas marami tayong matulungan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, get the reviewers that I made, join in the online review program or the live review uh, program sa paparating pa lang, you can reach out to me directly and message me sa www.facebook.com slash Team Laika. You can also comment below kung may mga requests kayo ng topics. And if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon para hindi nyo mamiss yung mga paparating pa lang mga lessons. There are more coming up. And I wouldn't want you guys to miss those kasi baka yan ang lumabas sa exam ninyo. So thank you guys for watching as we always see dito sa team. Never stop learning. Aja-aja, kaya niyan. I'll see you in the next video and bye for now.